what's up guys this is the game hunter another episode of clash royale and in this episode i want to share with you one of my favorite decks that i've been using with my second account i'm talking about the royal dart as you can imagine it's a mix between the royal giant and also the dart goblin i have been receiving a lot of messages from you fellas asking me how can we use the dart goblin effectively it's a really interesting car but i think the most important important attribute of the dart goblin is the range more than anything else it die extremely fast but the range it's amazing so for example if we have the royal giant in front you can definitely use the dart goblin as a bodyguard it's a really really cool combination why is this effective it's because of the range of the dart goblin we can deploy the royal giant the royal giant is going to get close to the bridge and then we have the dart goblin from distance taking care of any melee unit that is getting close to the royal giant another card that we're going to use is the furnace because it's a really good complement for the royal giant and well you guys know there is a bunch of elite barbarians players so <laughs> the furnace definitely is a good car to use also we're gonna use the log and the tornado to keep opponents away from the royal giant minions well it's uh for example if i deploy the royal giant and a few seconds after the minions well we can have the royal giant attacking the tower and we're gonna have the minions also either protecting the royal giant or attacking the arena tower of my opponent musketeer because it's still one of the best range units in the game and the mega minion because well we need some we need some power <laughs> to defend ourselves against cards for example like the hawk rider now let's go and take a look to the replay and then we're gonna finish this episode with a live battle using this royal dart deck all right here we go battle number one we go against the lumber loon <laughs> really interesting combo lumberjack plus balloon mega minion sap i'm gonna start with the royal giant minions furnace and the log the furnace is such a good card to start the match you can definitely change the face of the match just by deploy the furnace because your opponent can get kind of like a noise okay i need to do something to destroy the furnace as soon as possible or my arena tower is going to start receiving damage early in the game all right so we were able to stop the first combo lumber loon coming from the right side we got the lumberjack also the royal giant royal giant is going to be able to do some crazy damage against the tower in the top left corner my opponent completely admit that this move is actually getting uh, quite annoying look at that the dark goblin providing some support to the royal giant wasn't enough in this case because the electro wizard is such a powerful card <laughs> let's put it that way i hope you have the electro wizard because it's such an overpowered car in the game one more time here goes the fire spirit and the fire spirit will be able to oh, okay. Thank you so much. ice golem another very very useful I'm not using the uh, Ice Call in this deck just because uh, I kind of rely in the Royal Giant tank ability, right? So here we go. We got the Musketeer. We should. Oh, okay. That, 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 was, that, that was a Musketeer, by the way, fellas. <laughs> Electro Wizard, Royal Giant taking care of the Tombstone. Also have a couple of Fire Spirit. They're going to be able to take care of the Skeleton. Uh, Ice Call is coming this way. Look at the power of the Electro Wizard. It's just mind blowing. And here comes the Dart Goblin. So useful on defense and also on offense. On defense is amazing. You can deploy the Dart Goblin close to the uh, King Tower. And you can definitely still reach opponents that are getting close to the Arena Tower. So that is one of the most important factors of the Dart Goblin car. Here comes the combo one more time. Lumber Loom. But I'm now I'm ready. I got my two ready for action and i know the tornado is a um, useful card in this battle against the the balloon but also it's really useful against elite barbarians remember the pull, the pull power of the tornado is so good now that for example if my opponent decides to deploy the miner or the golden barrel i can pull those units towards the king tower and you know what i mean right we gotta, just, we gotta wake you're gonna wake up the king and that is probably not good for my opponent okay, this battle is under control we gotta push from the right side musketeer royal giant fire spirit mega minion is gonna take care of my musketeer but victory is ours everything because of the combo that i was using royal giant doing some damage and also using the tornado on 
defense. Let's go for another replay before going to a live battle. Now let's go against an elite barbarian player. Because there's so many elite barbarians, it's not even funny. My opponent is using the minions, the bowler, elite barbarians, fi uh, fire spirit, ice spirit, and also sap. Uh, I'm gonna start with musketeer, royal giant, furnace, and the log. The bowler is kind of annoying. That's why I, that's one of the reasons that I decided to add the dart goblin on this deck. Because, uh, well, the bowler always push every single melee unit that is getting close. So if I have the dart goblin, I can definitely defend myself from distance. Here we go. Musketeer, dart goblin. We're going to be able to take care of the minions. And also the bowler that is getting extremely close to my base. Another, another good, interesting thing about the dart goblin. The dart goblin is right behind the royal giant. Doing some protection there, taking care of the <laughs> barbarians right now with the fire spear. That's a perfect, perfect, perfect combination. And also, Dark Goblin attacks so fast that you can bother your opponent quite often with that three elixir card, right? Dark Goblin is really, really, really effective. It's probably not the best card. I'm still trying to decide should I keep using the Dark Goblin or my archers. But for now, I'm using the Dark Goblin because of the range. Basically, the range and also the speed. The speed, the Hawk Rider and the Dart Goblin works really well too. I'm gonna make another video with another deck that I've been trying lately with the Dart Goblin and the Hawk Rider. They both move so fast, but trust me, that could be super, super annoying. Okay, that's one of the problems with the Dart Goblin is so fast that it's getting in front of my Musketeer. I prefer to have my Musketeer in front because it's kind of, kind of capable to resist these attacks. Uh, probably better. Here comes the full power of the tornado. We got the Mega Minion protecting my base against the Elite Barbarians. Nothing happened. Just a couple of hit points and the battle is still under control. We got the Furnace coming. We got also the Minions, Musketeer, Royal Giant. We should probably wait for the Ice Spirit, uh, Ice Spirit, the Ice Wizard to get close to my base before getting ready and deploy my Royal Giant. Trying to get ready for the final push. Musketeer. Here comes also the Furnace. We should be ready to deploy the Royal Giant in any second. Here comes the Barbs. Barbs are getting separated. That is interesting. Interesting strategy. Because right now, all the Barbs are moving in every single direction. My Dark Goblin in the middle, distracting two of the Barbs. So the Barbs are not going to attack my tower in the bottom right corner. So things are looking quite okay. Dark Goblin is still alive. Still alive and also doing some damage against the tower in the top left corner. Try the Dark Goblin, guys. It's, it's really interesting. It's not easy, but uh, if you can find a way to have a, for example, if you have a, a giant, you have a Pekka, you have a Golem, the Dark Goblin is a really good card that you can use. Okay, <laughs> skeleton army, barbarians. Here comes the, <laughs> the lock to finish this battle. My opponent probably didn't enjoy that move. I love it. Let's go to another battle using this Royal Dart deck. Let's go to the legendary arena. Let's put this deck to the test. There you go. Musketeer, Tornado, Mega Minion, and Minions. Ooh, that's not good. We'd love to start with a Furnace or something like that. All right, let's see what we can do. Let's see what my opponent is using. Pretty much every single battle lately is just against a... I don't know if he had enough range with the Dark Goblin. Hmm, it's a good thing to try. Just not gonna do it right now. Okay, we got a really defensive player. I'm gonna fall into your game, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna deploy the Mega Minion in the back. We'll put the furnace in there. And hopefully we'll be able to deploy the royal giant in front of the mega minion right on time. Let's see what we can do in here. Okay. Dark Golden should be able to help me against the Sparky. If it's possible, come on, come on, come on, come on. Minion, 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 minion. Hit, 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 <laughs> that is not good, but I guess uh, I guess he's fine so far. Look at those minions. The minions are so 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 useful. Ah, you have to use your sap against my fire spirits. That is good. That is really good for me. It means that you're not enjoying this combo. Okay, the, here we go. The ice golem is coming this way. Ice golem is gonna go down. 
perfect. Let's keep you in position. Should be able to have the Royal Giant right before in the front. Uh, that's not good. Let me see. Can we move Sparky out of the way? Let's see, Sparky out of the way. Sparky out of the way. Can we go to the other line? No, it wasn't. But it's still is capable to take care of. Uh, okay, this is not too bad. I can do this. I can do this. I can do this. Use also my musket here to defend myself against this Sparky. Perfect. Look at my Dark Goblin, man. <laughs> Dark Goblin, rocking. Okay, here we go. Now, this is what this is what I want to see. Perfect. Okay, let's do good. Probably put the furnace in here. Here we go with the Goblin Barrel and stuff. Okay. Interesting. And it's down. Come on, minions. Come on, minions. If we can deploy the Royal Giant and the Dark Goblin together, is that tower in the top left corner? Yeah, the tower in the top left corner is gonna go down now. What we need to do right now is just to survive. This is what we do. And victory is <laughs> Thanks to the Terminator. <laughs> this deck is so, so, so entertaining because, because of the power of the tornado i like i like the tornado dark goblin royal giant it's, it's kind of like a unique i haven't seen this deck i mean it's so difficult to find a, a unique deck because there's always somebody with a similar combination but it's still it's a really useful really cool really entertaining deck give it a try fellas this is the game hunter with another episode of clash royale don't forget to like subscribe share my videos and i will see you in the next one take care everybody